What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to boost your FPS and overall performance when playing Valheim on a low to mid-end PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. First we will take a look at your in-game settings. Open up the game and navigate to your graphic settings. Here, set the resolution to your native monitor resolution and refresh rate. In case none of the next tweaks helped you out as much as you wanted, then make sure to slightly reduce this option. This will increase your performance in any way, but the visual quality will suffer a lot. Play in full screen mode to maximize your FPS. The next settings will depend on your system's hardware, and I will set these for low NPCs. Make sure to increase these in case you have some frames to spare. I like to leave the draw distance slash level of detail option at high, and reduce the shadow quality to a minimum. Below, Disable Bloom, Screen Space Ambient Occlusion, Depth of Field, Anti-Aliasing, Chromatic Aberration and V-Sync. When this is done, leave the game running and open up your task manager. Here in the Processes tab, right-click Valheim and select to go to Details. In the Details tab, the Valheim.exe application should be highlighted. Simply right-click it and set the priority to High. This will in turn allocate more resources to playing the game and should increase your performance, especially if you have other programs running in the background. In order to reduce the CPU utilization from other applications, I suggest you to end some processes from running in the background in the Processes tab, which you don't need when playing the game. But make sure to only add programs from running which you know won't break your operating system. You can now close the game and your task manager. Next, open up your Steam library. Here, right click Valheim and navigate to the game's properties. Valheim's full screen mode essentially functions as a borderless, windowed full screen mode instead of a true full screen mode. This can cause a significant performance loss on some systems. Make sure to use the launch option Window Mode Exclusive Screen Full Screen. This command will take effect every time you launch Valheim. Next, Make sure that your peripherals and other devices are running the latest driver. In some cases, outdated driver software for your components can be the culprit of stuttering or FPS drops. Search for Device Manager in your taskbar search to open it up. On this window, expand Mice and other pointing devices. Right-click the device you are using, select Update Driver and then search automatically for updated driver software. In case you're unsure about which device you're using, then repeat this step for each device. You should also update your network adapter, display adapter and disk drivers. When this is done, close this window and make sure that your graphics driver and operating system is up to date. This step can make the biggest performance difference, depending on how often you're updating your drivers. In case you're using an Nvidia graphics card, then I suggest using the GeForce Experience application. Otherwise, you can also use the AMD driver suit. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. In your Settings under General, make sure that the in-game overlay is turned off. This can in some cases result in random lag when enabled, especially on systems running a low-end CPU. You can now close this window and search for Update in your taskbar search to open up your Search for Updates System Settings window. Here, make sure to download the latest update and restart your PC to install it. When this is done, we will change some OS settings, which are usually turned on by default and could reduce your overall performance, especially when using demanding applications. When this is done, search for Game Bar to open up the Game Bar system settings. Here, uncheck the recording option and in the Captures tab, Make sure to additionally disable the background recording option. These settings will only reduce your performance. If you want to record your gameplay, then I suggest using OBS Studio or an external capture card if you lack performance. When this is done, search for Graphic Settings and open up your Graphic System Settings. On this window, select Browse and your File Explorer will open up. From here, navigate to the drive on which you saved the game on. Program Files, Steam Apps, Common, 
Valheim and here select the Valheim application and then add it to the program list. Once it's added, you can change the options of the application so that the graphics preference is set to high performance. Don't forget to apply your changes. Again, in your settings, look up Startup to open up your Startup Apps options. Here, you should disable apps from automatically starting up on System Boot. Especially applications such as Skype or Discord can be taxing to your overall system performance and should be enabled when you actually plan to use them. Next, we will change a few settings in your NVIDIA control panel. Right-click your desktop and select to open it up. Here, navigate to Manage 3D Settings and then Program Settings. Select to add a program to customize and then add Valheim from the program list. Below, we will change a few settings. Make sure that the CUDA setting is set to your main GPU. Set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance and set the texture filtering quality to performance. Make sure to apply your changes as this will improve the game's performance when using a low-end graphics card. In case you have decent system performance and none of these steps helped you out, then you might have malware or other third-party software running on your system. You should uninstall recently installed software to find out which application is causing the issue. In some cases, Adobe applications or Shadowplay reserve a big part of your memory to run in the background. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.